Wednesday night, State of the City message. Yes. Uh, at the Hall of Fame, right? <laughs> at the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, yes. At 6 o'clock? Um, yeah, we'll start at 5 30. Uh, we'll do a little session at 6 o'clock to start here. Well, can you give the um, citizens of Canton a little bit of tease about what the mayor might have to say? Wow. Um, well, we're going we're gonna to do, we've been in my same cities, and uh, we're going to do the same format. We're going to start the uh, overall city finances and then the four pillars, and we'll highlight the things that have happened and going on in the board. And uh, we'll finish up with uh, economic development and, of course, talk about the impact of other things that are going on, but then finish up with the Hall of Fame uh, a little, little snippet of uh, what's going on with the Hall of Fame building project. So um, that's, that's kind of where we're at. But there's, um, there's some interesting things in this one, and uh, it's, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun this year. Well, thank you, Mayor William J. Healy II, Mayor of the City of Canton. Uh, we're all looking forward to uh, your address uh, coming up Wednesday evening. Thanks again. I, I try to keep a few things for the uh, for the events we can have, but um, no, it's we've been. I think our students are beginning better and better. One because we've actually come out with such a more to talk about. But two, I think the um, the presentation, the package, the delivery, the whole thing has been. Uh, I've eight years of experience out, so it's time to get a little bit better. And I think this year's is going to be. Uh, the best presentation in reference to the whole package. Not necessarily me, but, but uh, in reference to uh, the, the arrangements and setup. So uh, we're pretty excited about it. I would suggest, though, that uh, there is limited space. There is no limit on, on, or no cost for anybody, but there is limited space in the room. So if you get a lot of people, you can you get there late, you might not be able to get in the room or only be standing. So uh, I would suggest to get there at least uh, by 5.30 and even by 5 if you can. Um, but that being said, I think we could probably get three or four hundred people in that room, maybe two or three hundred. But um, it is, you know, if it's like last year, that would be pretty cool. You're expecting a full house. I hope so. I mean, this is the state of the city. This is about what's going on in our community, and there's there's a lot of people who are involved with the neighborhood associations and businesses and you know just uh, local activities. Uh, if they want to see uh, in detail something going on, it's a great place to see it. And I, I can tell you that uh, one of the difficult things for us in putting this together, and we've been working on this with our all of our partners and everybody, is to try to narrow down the items you want to talk about. Because the speech is going to be uh, 45 minutes uh, to an hour. From start to finish, it's going to be more than an hour from the start of the to the end. The speech itself will be about 45 minutes or so. And to figure out what you want to include, in there, I could do an hour speech just on safety. I could do an hour speech just on economic development and jobs. I could do an hour speech just on the neighborhood activities that we've been involved with, all the things we're doing. I could do an hour speech just on the finances. Is that that detailed enough? So to try to figure out how to consolidate this into a highlight reel is essentially what the state of the city is. So um, there's a lot of things that we've been involved with that don't make it in the speech just because there's not enough time. And uh, we try to make it to the highlights of each of those categories. And, uh, it, it's it's going to be good, but at the same time, it's, it's frustrating for me to not be able to do so many other things that everybody's working on. And uh, unfortunately, the newspaper just doesn't cover this stuff because when you have good things happening, nobody wants to write that story. Of course, the Stark County Political Report always does. <laughs> we do. And, and there'll be, we'll reference a lot of things that have been reported on throughout the year and a lot of things that we're working on. But at the same time, there's just so many stories that we have. And we, we you know, one of the things that Fonda said to me was, Mayor, we're so busy and we got so many things going on. As soon as we complete something and get the victory and, and, and achieve what we wanted to achieve, we literally just turn around next day and work on the next item. And we don't have time to enjoy it, celebrate, or even run a press release even half the time. So we do things and move on, do things and move on. There's been so much need in the city. That we've been so busy. Uh, uh, we're a working administration. We work our, our butts off uh, on all the issues that are in front of us to try to accomplish the plan. And unfortunately, because there's so much need, we just don't get to celebrate. So this is a chance for us to celebrate some of the best things. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you after your address on Wednesday evening. Thank you.